Hey y'all, Sammy here from Avid CNC. This is an overview on how to grease and maintain your machine. If you'd like to learn about how to assemble your grease gun, click on the video in the description. If you don't have a needle tip adapter, it is listed on our website or feel free to contact our support team. If you ordered your machine around or after April 2019, then your Z-axis likely looks like this and has a different greasing procedure. Stop here and go watch this video linked on the screen or in the description below. If you have bearing blocks from before that date, then this is a task that should be done at least once a year or every six months of your running production. I'll be showing you how to grease the bearing blocks on the X and Y gantry, as well as the bearing blocks and ball screw on the Z-axis gantry of your Pro Series machine. This is also applicable to the table and gantry axes of the Benchtop Pro. It's helpful to have your machine on and mock loaded so that you can drive the gantry to a more accessible location. First, remove the red dust covers. Behind the plate are four bearing blocks, two on each side. These are the same on the X and Y axis if you have a Benchtop Pro. You can raise and lower the spindle to make the screws more accessible. I'll remove the dust covers on both sides. After removing the dust covers, we'll lower the spindle down to reveal the top half of the ball screw and add a bead of grease along the top length. Here's a reference photo for the recommended amount. Then raise the Z-axis up and do the same for the bottom half of the ball screw. Raise and lower the Z-axis a few times to distribute the grease evenly. Now onto the bearing blocks. They're a little tricky to access. There are screws on the top and bottom of each bearing block and you can remove either, though we recommend to remove the top screw on the top bearing block and the bottom screw on the bottom bearing blocks for easier access. Be careful not to drop the screw or perhaps lay down a sheet of material on your bed so if it does fall, you won't lose it underneath the machine. Once you remove it, insert the needle tip fitting of the grease gun where you just remove the center screw. Give it three to five pumps per block. Reinsert the screw into the bearing blocks. Now for the bottom bearing blocks. I find it easier to access the screws on the bottom side, so I suggest driving the gantry over to the edge of the bed for a more comfortable access. These might take a little bit more patience to remove and reinsert the screw. Go ahead and give those three to five pumps on both sides as well. I found it was also easier if I removed any dust collection hoses and attachments. Let's move on to the X and Y axis bearing blocks. If your bearing blocks have a Zerk fitting, then perhaps it's time to switch them out for our new flush mount grease fittings. They're available on our website, and again, do feel free to reach out to the support team as well. I found it was easiest to remove the sensor bumpers on the ends of the extrusion to access the fittings. When you're driving the machine to the end of the linear rail, in mock, hold down control and click the arrow keys to move the gantry in smaller and more controlled steps. You can remove the Zerk fitting, inserting the needle tip adapter into the hole as you did for the Z-axis bearing blocks, then simply reinsert the Zerk fitting. These new fittings have a nice low profile and a ball door that is compatible with the needle tip adapter. I'll thread in the new crease fittings and give each bearing block three to five pumps. These new grease fittings have a nice low profile and the ball door is compatible with the needle tip adapter. Plus, once you have them installed, you won't have to remove the bumpers in order to access them. We'll do the same for the bearing blocks on the gantry axis. After greasing the bearing blocks, I'll reattach the dust covers and bumpers and we're ready for another 6 to 12 months. Thanks everyone for watching. Keep an eye out for more machine maintenance, pro tip, project, and build videos soon. We'll see you in the shop.